and today we'll be going over the five biggest Tacoma Holic truck mods of 2019, the total of which comes in right under $5,000. <sighs> Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel everybody. Yes, it is 2020 and I thought it would be fun to kick it off with one of the first videos of the new year with a sort of recap going over the biggest truck mods I did in 2019. Most of these are the biggest because they were the most expensive, but also mods I think just definitely changed the look and capabilities of the Tacoma build. So let's get started. Now don't worry, the prices I'm gonna be giving you are just full price. That's not counting any kind of like sales or discounts I got, so don't freak out entirely. But if you grab the same exact things at full price, it's gonna be about five grand. And as always, if you love sweet truck mods like these, go ahead and subscribe now. All right, guys, I will be going through the five mods now in no particular order, so it's not gonna be like most expensive to least expensive or anything like that. And if you would like more info on any of the mods I'm talking about today, I will put links for those specific videos in the video description below, so check those out. And I guess we'll just sort of start in the front of the truck and work our way back. First on the list, now, to be fair, I am combining two different things, but they go hand in hand my front bumper and winch combo. Now, if you did not know, for the front bumper, this is from Brute Force Fabrication. Fantastic company, I love their products. This is the hybrid style, which really means like the side area. On a plate bumper, this is gonna be solid steel. On the hybrid style, it is open. Now, they do look a lot lighter, but they actually come in about the same weight. I wanna say this bumper was 115 pounds. Absolutely love this thing. If I remember correctly, the bumper itself was about 800, which is a fantastic price. But then I wanna say it was like $150 to ship it from California to Virginia. No way around those high shipping charges on heavy items like this. There it is, the bumper, about 950 shipped. And I did paint it myself, thank you very much. And of course, tucked on the inside of the bumper, can't really see it, but this is my Smitty built. It is the XRC 9,500 pound winch. I did get the synthetic line upgrade, which is usually adds about a hundred bucks. Depending on where you shop around for your winches, full price for the same exact one I have is about 350, which not too bad, especially if you're comparing it to some of the higher end, like worn winches and stuff like that, which the price on those uh, can start to get out of control rather quickly. And that is just for the winch. I also upgraded like the Fairlead, the worn Epic winch hook, some of those accessories, but that is the price just for the winch and the synthetic line. Next item on the list, since we are going front to back, is actually the most inexpensive item on the list. Not to say it's cheap really, but this is the Dobinson Snorkel, full price. $300, which to me is extremely reasonable considering if you compare it to like the Airflow or the ARB snorkels, which they all do the same thing. It's all plastic. You can have a comment war down below if you want on which you think is the best, but the counterparts to this $300 Dobinson snorkel are about $500. So, hey, at least I saved 200 bucks there and I could not be more happy with it. It hasn't failed me yet. I love the way it looks. Some people obviously don't like the snorkel look, but love it or hate it, you have to admit it changes the way the truck looks for better or for worse. A couple quick side shots showing you the protrusion. And if I remember exactly, this is very similar to the ARB one with the larger body right here and the airflow. I wanna say like the actual snorkel body that sits on your fender, it's about half that length. So if you're looking around for a snorkel, wanna get one that's less obtrusive, I guess, you can check out the airflow, but I went with Dobinson's, save a couple hundred bucks. Third item on the list actually is the most expensive. If it's not discounted, full retail price is my up top overland roof rack. I absolutely love this thing. I did get it fully decked out, you know, with all the handles, the custom paint color, which up top actually did for me. Huge shout out to them. I love this thing. I love the style of it, the way it looks and the functionality. And again, just like with snorkels, love it or hate it, adding a roof rack to your truck changes the look of the truck. And of course, I mounted a few Plano boxes on it and some recovery boards right there in the middle. 
And believe me, I am not done mounting stuff to this thing yet. I got a few lights I need to add to it. On the driver's side, I've got my ARB 1250 awning. This is the one I think is like four feet long by seven feet out. Love that thing. But the Uptop Overland Alpha Rack, fully specced out like I have it, including shipping, including like the paint, the handles, and the actual mounts for the awning on the other side is $1,650. Yes, I know that sounds expensive, but again, that's full price. Big companies like this run sales all the time where you can get stuff at a nice discount. This is actually the first up top alpha roof rack ever seen on a second gen Tacoma, so I was super excited to get that. If you were down at the 2019 Atlanta Takeover, you saw this in person for the first time. But since they released the alpha, they have also released the Bravo roof rack, which is about half price, very comparable to the prices of the Prinsu. So if you are looking for something just a little bit different for your roof rack solutions, I do encourage you to check out uptopoverland.com. Fantastic company. They also do bed racks. Might have to look at getting one of those in the future, but for now, just running the Alpha roof rack. Absolutely love it. Hefty price tag. Well worth it in my opinion, though. And for the last two of the biggest Tacoma Holic truck mods in 2019, we're going to the inside of the truck. Starting in the front with the seat mod. Now I did just do a video for this. Again, all of these videos linked in the description below. These are the Scion FRS seats. I think any year from like 2013 to the present will work. I got a sweet deal on this where I only had to pay a little bit of cash and trade my factory Tacoma seats. So I really didn't pay a lot of money for these and they were all pre-wired so they worked with the airbags and everything. They had the seat brackets down there which are usually about $150 a piece, so I actually got super hooked up on this. If you guys are interested in doing the same thing, you can probably expect to spend about $700 for the seats, getting the seats shipped to you, and the brackets needed to mount them, and there's another like module you need to get to get the airbag sensors to work and all that. So about $750, I would guess. Of course, if you can get a sweet deal on these seats at a local junkyard, that's gonna save a ton of money depending on what they're charging for the seats, of course, but huge interior mod, huge comfort improvement. I love the way they look, the way they feel, everything about them. And like I mentioned in that other video I did on these, if I could change one thing about them, it would be the red trim to orange, obviously just to match the truck, but my lower back has never been happier. Okay, last item on the list. And again, this is actually a bunch of items in one. It is the audio system upgrade for my truck. Obviously the centerpiece right here is the custom enclosure, which is housing a downward firing 10 inch Rockford Fosgate punch subwoofer. This thing hits like you wouldn't believe. What I'm counting in this is the subwoofer, the enclosure, you know, all the labor to actually make this and bed line it. Installation with a 500 watt Rockford Fosgate amp, which is buried under the seat right there. As well as I upgraded the rear door speakers. front door speakers and the front or only tweeters in the Tacoma. The door speakers are actually all Rockford Fosgate and these are the Subaru WRX specific kicker tweeters. Super popular with you guys and I showed how to install all the door speakers, sound dead and take the panels off everything. Obviously I got the subwoofer and amp and all that professionally installed so I didn't mess anything up. And they even installed a bass controller right here in my center console which I absolutely love usually run this on about 20 percent and that is a comfortable level for me driving around without destroying my hearing this thing definitely thumps though but with all the sound deadening i added i don't get any of those disgusting annoying vibes like you usually see when you see like a honda civic with a 15 inch subwoofer in the trunk and it sounds like just like metal falling off when it's driving down the roads Love the sound system upgrade. Obviously it doesn't really change the appearance of the truck from the outside of the truck, but if you're snooping around the inside, definitely custom look. Here's a quick shot from the front showing you the little through cutouts they made on all four corners. All right guys, and there are your top five most expensive slash largest Tacoma Holic truck mods of 2019. Do me a favor, comment below, let me know which of these five is your favorite and why. And to kick off last year, I did a video where I showed you guys how much I spent on the truck and what it was for, summing up the entire year. If you are interested in seeing a video like that on how much I spent total for everything in 2019 on the Tacoma build, comment below and let me know. 
As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Help the channel grow by sharing it with your friends on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.